First reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Peter to Timothy, chapter 3, verse 10 to 17. But you have followed my teaching, my conduct and my purpose in life. You have observed my faith, my patience, my love, my endurance, my persecutions and my sufferings. You know all that happened to me in Antioch. Iconium and Lystra, the terrible persecutions I endured. But the Lord rescued me from them all. Everyone who wants to live in a godly life in union with Christ will be persecuted. And evil persons and impostors will keep on going from bad to worse, deceiving others and being deceived themselves. But as for you, Continue in the truths that you were taught and firmly believed. You know who your teachers were, and you remember that ever since you were a child, you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to give you the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All Scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching the truth, rebuking error, correcting faults, and giving instruction for right living, so that the person who serves God may be fully qualified and equipped to do every kind of good deed. The Word of the Lord Good morning, my dear friends. Today, the Holy Church celebrates the memorial of St. Boniface, the bishop and the martyr. Let us carefully listen to the Holy Gospel. Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was teaching in the temple, he asked the question, how can the teachers of the law say that the Messiah will be the descendant of David? The Holy Spirit inspired David to say, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit here at my right side, until I put your enemies under your feet. David himself called him, Lord, so how can the Messiah be David's descendant? A large crowd was listening to Jesus gladly. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, once there was a monastery and a monk was appointed as the abbot, the head of the monks. And he was sent to that monastery, given the appointment by the bishop. Then. When this new abbot enters to his monastery, the other monks did not know that the monk who comes to this monastery is the abbot and he is the superior. Then immediately the other monks asked him and gave him some work. The other monks asked that monk to go and help in the kitchen and to do some cleaning, to do many work without knowing that he is the superior in that monastery. With much gladness, with happily, that monk went and started doing all the things which were requested by the other monks. He did not grumble. And he did not say that I am the superior, in, I am the new superior in your monastery. No. He humbled himself and he did all the things. When the bishop comes and he sees that 
the new superior works like nothing. And immediately he said to the other monks, why your new superior is doing such things? Then only the others knew that he is the superior. My dear friends, see how humble was that monk. If we are humble, if we are connected to God, today God clearly says that he will put our enemies under his feet. He will put our enemies under his feet. Do you believe in that? If we are with him, if we are connected to him, if we humble him, humble ourselves as he humbled himself, we will be exalted. We will be exalted as that monk did. If we can also silently do whatever we are asked by our own members, the staff, members in the family, members at school. Sometimes it's difficult for us. We try to argue with them. We try to challenge them. But Jesus says, you humble yourself. Then I will take care of about your enemies. I will put them under my feet. I will exalt you. You will start experience that in your life if you humble yourself like Jesus did. Let us ask graces from the Holy Spirit to humble ourselves like Jesus did. And let us pray for that we may be a humble beings. God bless you.